Today, we're gonna to go over allergen basics for food manufacturing in under five minutes. This is one of the most important topics because this is one of the top three reasons for recalls in the United States. What is a food allergy anyway? It is an adverse health effect from a specific immune response that occurs with exposure to a given food protein most of the time. So what is an allergen? It's any substance that causes a person's immune system to overreact. So when this allergen is consumed or in contact with the body, in and of itself, it's not harmful. But some individuals' immune systems see this protein and either attack it or create immune responses that are harmful to your body. So what do these allergic reactions look like? Well, they have a broad range of severity starting with vomiting, diarrhea, or abdominal cramps, to hives, or itching, um, as well as tightening of the throat and trouble breathing, all the way to anaphylaxis and potentially death. Technically, anything that makes a protein can be an allergen. But in the United States, under the Felkba and FASTER Act, you are required to label what we call the big nine allergens. So that uh, includes wheat, milk, peanuts, fish, tree nuts, sesame, soy, shellfish, and crustacean. And technically, coconuts are considered a tree nut by the FDA, as well as egg. So how do we keep the incorrect allergens from reaching our customer? Well, what we can't do, we can't kill an allergen through uh, thermal means or pressure, but we can check the contained statements on all ingredients coming in. We can also verify the allergen labeling on incoming labels and outgoing labels and packaging. We can be aware of what lubricants we're using. We can also wash our hands after eating in the break room. We can follow color-coded programs with tools or maybe area segregation. You can follow good production scheduling as well as proper sanitation and proper storage. To recap, allergens are any substance that causes a person's immune system to overreact. There is no tolerance for any amount of cross contact, whether it be slightly less than a part per million or if there are few grams of that particular allergen present in that product. If it isn't labeled for that particular allergen, this will prompt a recall or may cause your customers to have an allergic reaction. Remember, anything that has protein in it can technically cause an allergic reaction in some individuals. But the ones that we are required to label by law in the United States are the big nine allergens, which include wheat, milk, peanuts, fish, tree nuts, eggs, crustacean and shellfish, sesame, and soy. Make sure that you're checking the contained statements on ingredients coming in. Also, make sure to verify the allergen labeling on outgoing products to make sure that they declare the correct allergens. Be aware of what lubricants you're using because they may have declared allergens like soy, similar to Pam. Washing your hands is also critical. It not only removes microbes, but also allergens from the surface of your hands. Make sure you're doing this for at least 20 seconds. Make sure to follow the color code for that particular allergen that's being run on that piece of equipment. Take care in ensuring that your production schedule has the allergen at the end of the run or day as opposed to the middle or the beginning. Sanitation is critical to make sure that allergens do not remain on the surface. So whether it's through visual inspection or use of special swabs to make sure that the allergen residue is not there, sanitation is critical. Lastly, make sure those allergens are stored properly. You want to make sure that they are stored like above like and don't have containers that are touching each other when they have differing allergens. On the other hand, the more allergens that product has, it should be on the bottom shelf, not on the top shelf to contaminate through cross contact the other types of products. That's it for allergens. Thanks for watching. Here's that quick reference for your knowledge 
later on.